Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Stamping with Bridget. This one is inspired by Spider-Man. So I'm calling this my subtle Spider-Man manicure. And it just looks like this. The base is a watercolor design base, which I will be showing you how to do for the first time on my channel. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I do this subtle Spider-Man manicure, then keep watching. For this nail design, the polish you're going to need is a white, and I'll be using Correction Tape by Spoiled or Wet n Wild. I'm using this glittery black teal-ish color, and this is Smoke and Ashes by China Glaze. This is from the Hunger Games collection. And next you will need a brownish purplish nudie color, and I'll be using, I'm not even going to try to say it, but I'll be using this, also by China Glaze, and also from the Hunger Games collection. And the last polish for the base that we'll be using is this pinkish reddish kind of crimson color and it's not glittery but it's definitely definitely very shimmery and this is called autumn blaze and this is by finger paints for stamping i'm going to be using silver by mundo de uñas and then i'm also going to be using my liquid latex i will be putting it around all of my fingers before i do my watercolor nail base I will be using Sugar Bubbles 001 and it's this plate. The last plate I'll be using will be Moyusuki number 10. I will be using my Magno from Dashika Nail Art. And I'm going to be using the big end for the base design and then I'll be using the smaller ends with the red squishy head for the actual stamping. And then of course, I will be using my old trusty Creative Shop scraper. So that's everything you're gonna need. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna do just one thin coat of white. You can use whatever white you want. This is going to be the base underneath the watercolor design and it's just going to kind of make color stand out a little bit more. Next, we are going to take the liquid latex and we're just going to apply it around the fingernails and this will help with cleanup in the end. So you're going to let this dry for about 15 minutes. You want it to be completely dry before we start with the next step. For the next part, we're going to be creating a watercolor design with the, the three colors that I showed you earlier. And I'm just going to be using the back of a nail stamping plate for this part. So the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to pick one of your three colors. All right, and you're just going to pick a little area on your plate and you're just going to lay down little dots of color. And where and how many you lay down depends on what you want to be the dominant color of your design. So next I'm going to do the black teal color. And then you're gonna take your third color. You're just gonna lay down dots. And whenever you see a hole, you're gonna lay the third color down. Next, you're gonna take your nail stamper and you're going to press it straight down like this. And then you're just gonna wiggle it back and forth all around until you get something that looks like this. And then you're just going to apply it to your nails. I'm going to roll it like that. 
and you're just going to kind of work with it until you're happy with that finger and then you're going to take it on your lint roller and just clean it like that Once you are completely done with all your fingers, we now have our base finished. Before you start stamping, you're going to want to add a good layer of top coat. going to be using my elf concealer brush this is a brand new one because I really wanted to get it done quick so I pulled out my backup and I've just mixed some pure acetone with some water if I use straight acetone around the cuticles then it will liquefy the polish and then it'll create this ring of stamping polish color around but I've noticed if I take the acetone pure acetone and mix it with some water it's really good at getting it off the fingers but it doesn't liquefy it so Since they are pretty much all clean, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a gemstone to the spider on this nail. Alright, so we're just going to add a teeny drop of super glue, like so, and then I'm going to place it on like so and just move it down. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing on my other finger, just a small dab. Okay guys, that's it. We're all done. This is our Spider-Man manicure. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. There will be more photos at the end. Love you all.
Bye.